hi guys so um, going forward from today on i will only be making one or two videos a week um, watching austin holman's video is too much um, i don't want to subject myself to the amount of sexism and misogyny coming from his videos and he the comment section of his channel so that being said um Today he posted a video uh, where he said, he basically said, he basically admitted that he wants to keep up African women poor so that he could exploit them. Guys, there's a reason why I never tagged Kate's Instagram, Case's Instagram, or anybody that you guys seen in my videos. There's a reason why, I mean, I tagged Crystal, but she was already on YouTube, so I didn't mind doing that. But you guys of course are gonna go flood her dms and like her photos as expected nothing wrong with that but when you guys do flood the dms they, they show me this stuff it's never a secret they show me you guys are like hey uh what's your cash app which they don't even have cash app in africa but they say what's your cash app i'm gonna send you a hundred dollars uh, just because you're beautiful no no hell no no because after so long, and you already can see this a, a little bit in other places around the world, you have women that's like, oh, well, if you can't take me on a trip, you don't even deserve my phone number. And it, it was, you know, um, I was not shocked, to be honest, because, I mean, I have been saying over and over that this guy is exploitative. Uh, this guy wants to exploit African women. So on this video, he said that he will not... Um, he usually doesn't link the social media account of the women he has on on the show because he doesn't want a man to send them money. And why doesn't he want men to send them money? Because if they send, if men send them money, then they will be ex, you know they will basically be unaf unaffordable to him. They will be too expensive for him. And this is basically he is admitting that he wants to keep them poor. So that you know he could, they could depend on him. They could, uh, you know, he could exploit them. And I have been saying this over and over, and this is why I have problem with this passport bros. They want to keep Africans. They want to keep you know wh wherever the poor, you know, the poor countries they go to. They want to keep the women poor so that the women would be dependent on them. These men are exploitative. Aston Holman is an exploitative man. He's exploiting Africans. He is, he doesn't want other men to send them money so that they could, they would stay poor and dependent on him. That's exploiting. That's expl that, that is their textbook definition of exploitation. So, for all those Africans coming on my um, channel saying, well, uh, Aston is helping Africa. How is he helping Africa when he wants to keep Africans poor so that he could, they, they could depend on him, so that he could exploit them? And the African women who are defending Aston, what do you say now? He's, he's basically saying that he wants to keep you poor and uh, miserable so that you could be dependent on him, so that he could exploit you, so that he can have easy sexual access to you. Are you proud of defending him now? Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, I, I, you know, the last two weeks, um, one of the most frustrating thing for me uh, when Austin Holman's, uh, you know, American male supporters come to my um, comment section to defend him, you know what, they annoy me, but that's it. But when I see African women come defend a man who wants to exploit them, it just breaks my heart. This guy is not good for you. He's not bringing anything good for you. He is there to exploit your economic uh, disadvantage. He is there to take advantage of you. Really, he is not there to help you. He is there to exploit you. He is there to exploit poverty. He actually should be called a, po a poverty pimp.
he should be called a poverty instead of sex tourist now we should start calling him poverty tourist because that is what he's trying to do he doesn't want women to uh, uh, women in africa to get money from you know to get f uh, money from their admirers in the west because if they do he didn't say you know i don't want you to give them money because you know that is insulting to the women no that's not what he said he said that you shouldn't give them money so that you don't spoil them which meaning if you give them money they will have their own money they will not be dependent on me so they will not you know be easy for me to exploit to exploit that's what he means and you as an african woman um, african women who support him who defend him i mean uh, the last two weeks I, so many african women coming on my channel defending him uh, i mean this is the man you are defending and the other thing is of course it's not just the exploit the, 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 he wants to exploit them um he also wants to be the only one making money from the collaboration he has with these women i mean when these women are on his channel they make him a lot of money this guy when he is on his show by himself he doesn't make a lot of money but when he has the women he makes a lot of money the women are making him money and all the money is going to his pocket and the 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 one way they, the women could benefit is you know by you know posting their their uh, by him linking to their their ig their social media so that other you know the men watching could send them money but he doesn't want to do that because he wants to be the only one making money from the collaboration with these women this is exploitation it's, it's truly is exploitation in fact if i was him um I would, you know, I would actually start linking their social media. Let these women make money because, you know, I mean, because a lot of the women would start speaking up in the future. And this guy, we would probably be hearing a lot of exploitative, a lot of stories about how exploitative he is. The, the third reason, of course, is he doesn't want them to, you know, to, he doesn't want to link their social media because he doesn't want other men to contact him to contact the women and that is double standard right because he himself has relationship with multiple women but he doesn't want the women to do the same this is this guy is misogynist an exploitative misogynist and um, i mean i'm you know i'm not surprised you know he is out here on the, the world wide web advertising to the whole world what a depraved human being he is uh, telling the whole world that you know he wants to keep poor women poor so that he could have easy sexual access to them um i mean i'm not surprised he's telling the whole world that but for black american women it's actually a good thing right because the whole world can now see what the problem is the problem is not black women it is this you know men like um austin uh, they, you know, we now hear their depravity, their moral, you know, lack of any moral uh, values. And they, the whole world can see it too, which is a good thing. So that is all I wanted to say. Um, and I wanted, uh, you know, uh, I have another video that I made. Um, it's not even about Austin Holman. It is... Um, it's my defense of modern women and I might post it tonight or tomorrow um, but after I post those two uh, this video and the, that video it would be you know it, it for me for maybe the, the next few days uh, so let me know what you think um, and like I said on my other videos if you do like the video please like it because my videos usually get good number of likes, um, but Austin Holman's supporters downvote them. So I usually end up with 56%, 57% likes. So if you do like them, uh, if you do like my video, uh, give me a thumbs up. And as always, I would welcome comments, even, you know, the ones that, um, that do not agree with what I say. And let me know. Thank you.